Here we are. Simpson Playground. Look at this. Going for a scoot. And today, we're going to be doing this little section of Philadelphia. There's something going on at this park I want to check out. Uh, this is Simpson Playground. Uh, oh, I don't know. Feltonville. Uh, oh, what neighborhood is this? Junietta? Oh, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. I, can, I need to update my Philadelphia map. Here it is. The Simpson Pool. There's the Simpson soccer field. I played here a few times. There you go. And uh, there's that. There's an indoor rec right here. You go in here. They probably have a basketball. I'm sure they have a basketball court because I'm pretty sure I played indoor soccer here. Boy, wouldn't that be fun to play again? Indoor soccer. You ever play indoor soccer? Actually, you know what? I'm surprised people didn't get like knocked out every game. It's it's <laughs> kicking a large tennis ball indoors. I was a goalie when I played soccer. I was a I was pretty good too. I was an all star goalie. Uh, and some of the kids on my all star team were uh, members of the Philadelphia Kicks. So that means if they made it, if I would have stuck with it, I probably would have made it. I could have been a kick, but instead. I'm a YouTuber. Uh-oh. So this is what I want to check out. This is um, Northwood Park, I believe. And I drove past this the other day, and I was like, oh, no. People are hunkering down. People people are uh, making a tent, like camping with Steve. Shout out camping with Steve. If you, if you watch camping with Steve, right? Hunker down. But yeah, look at this. They have this park. And I think this is part of the park. Like, they want you to come. The nature play space. How about that? So they have all this stuff. And they want people to come here. And, oh, I'm going to build a fort. Get the stick. There you go. There you go, you just do something with that, and then you climb up here. Right, I look like a lunatic now. And then they have a, a free library, right? You come back here if you... Like, you can make that a thing. You get, take the kid to the playground. You go, right, let's go to the, to the playground. Then you take a book home. But, uh, oh, look at this. Oh, oh, this is dangerous. Oh, Super Dave, there you go. Uh, this is pretty cool. I saw uh, an article. And these things are put in there. Look at this. Uh, <laughs> I saw, an, uh, no, not an article. How stupid does that sound? I'm talking about a TV show and I'm talking about an article. I saw an article on the John Oliver show. And he talks about in London, they have lots. And they just have planks of wood and nails and tools for kids to... Uh, build forts and uh, it helps you know kids figure out engineering and how to work with tools and I think it would have helped me out greatly because I could have built a birdhouse but that's nice I, I've never seen one of them in the city before that's pretty uh, cool and they have little makeshift teepees this is what made me think of camping with Steve I've seen camping with Steve. He did. He built one of these, and then he got a tarp, <laughs> and then he uh, he put a propane heater in there, and then he would warn you not to use it. Uh, and then him and crazy neighbor would have a few step twos. And then they wake up the next day. I often wonder how many times Steve wakes up with a hangover because I couldn't imagine ca camping. <sighs> And waking up the next day with a hangover. I just recently stopped drinking again. I don't know if I'm going to go back to it, but I'm taking a break. I had a hangover. And, and, and I was like, why am I wasting a day of my life for just a few hours of pleasure? And is it even pleasure? I don't even know. 
so all right this is pat's cafe is a little bar in the corner here there was a cop uh there was like a robbery a few years ago actually a lot of years ago there was a robbery I think it was Gary Skurs Skursky. Oh, I hope I, I know I'm saying that wrong, but he was a cop who responded to the call. And uh, they, um, he got killed in the line of duty protecting that place. This is Fisher Lane. And if you grew up in this area, Wherever drove in this area, this was called Snake Road. It was a way to, a quick way to get into Junietta. Ooh, oh boy. So this used to be a street. And, uh, People would uh, drive down this street at nighttime, and they would do it with no headlights. That was like a rite of passage. And uh, it was scary. It was scary. This is a really old bridge. This is a uh, ooh, the old Fisherman Lane Bridge from the, uh, this part right here. This is from it's from the 1700s, I believe. I'll be writing book reports. And uh, I believe this is the Frankfurt Crick. I could be wrong. Are you writing a book report? You better not be. Put that pen down. Yeah, that's a golf course over there. I've never played golf at a uh, course. I don't think it would be fun for me. I'm sure you have a... Whoa, what's going on here? What do they got? Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah! Live action! What do we got? Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. Goat. Wow. Just so you know, I am in the city still. Yeah, I think the street closed in the 90s. The city closed down the street. It's now a, a, a trail, like a hiking trail, bike trail. Um, and I believe what happened was there were some teenagers who I think went to North Catholic. I could be wrong. You're writing a book report? Put, stop it. And, uh, there was a bunch of teenagers who lost their lives. And, uh, so there, the city was like, you know, this is, I can't imagine how many people got hurt on the street. Oh, gotta be careful. Why didn't we go in the bike lane? Let's let's make people angry and go the wrong way on the bike lane. Um, it was eight degrees the other day, and uh, there's no reason for people to live in eight degrees, right? It's horrible. I don't know how people do it. So. 46 degrees right now. Dude, I can't tell you how good it feels. <laughs> it's supposed to be even warmer this weekend. There we go. There it is. Junie at a golf course. Yeah, like I said, I've never played golf. Golf? I know I say it wrong. Uh... I mean, who's playing? It's 46 degrees. I bet you there's one lunatic out there. Or maybe not. Looks like their shop's closed today. 
Yeah, I, I, I get bored after playing putt-putt for about... Oh, I don't know. After playing putt-putt for about 30 seconds. And three holes. After I play about three holes, I get bored. <laughs> Here's hole one. It's a par three. Yes, where's the where's the flag? All the way down there? Okay. That seems simple enough, right? <laughs> Hole two is a four par, two hundred and ninety yards. Let's see. I don't even know where to I'm here. Oh, you gotta hit it over the the, the uh, yeah. You gotta hit it over the bridge. Ooh. Check this out. Oh wow. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <clears throat> Oh, oh wow, this is scary. There you go. Do people drive golf carts over this thing? Wow. How pretty is this? Oh, there's, there's a golf flag frozen over. Oh, there was a golf cart. All right, let's get out of here. Huh. And, uh, I don't know, there's always, like, like, I always wanted to go to a Jewish temple. Like, I always wanted to go to a Jewish temple church thing. I don't know why. I just want to see what it's like. As a matter of fact, I would like to go to any church service. Wouldn't that be just to see what it's like? I remember a decade ago, I was going through a, like a midlife crisis, and I went through like this spiritual journey, and I was trying to discover myself, and I went to uh, so many, I think I went to like six or seven Buddhist temples, just trying to figure it out, you know? And uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed going to different services. I enjoyed checking out different types of churches. So, uh, now listen, if you, I'm not gonna, if you, so if you want to bring me along to one of your church services, hit me up on uh, Instagram. Um, just know I'm, I'm, I'm not religious whatsoever. There's no way I would join your religion. I just really want to see the inside of your uh, church. And I might review your songs, your church music. That would be fun. I also always wanted to go to a black barber shop. I mean, I made a bucket list about 10 years ago. No, 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 it was more than 10. I made a bucket list 15 years ago. And the number one thing on my bucket list was to dance with the Philly Fanatic on top of the dugout of Citizens Bank Park. And I did that. And then there was other things like I wanted to introduce. I wanted to introduce a wrestling match. I wanted to be a referee in a wrestling match. And I surpassed that. I, I, I actually performed in front of a live crowd as a wrestling manager. I took a bump. I was a referee. I did commentary. And, um... Uh-oh. So, but one of the things, and I, one of the other things I wanted to do was ride one of those uh, rodeo bulls. Not a real bull, but one of those, you know, robot ones. And uh, I did that. And then, then there was a bar in Philadelphia that opened up a few years late, a few years ago. And now they had the bull, so it wasn't that hard of a goal to even accomplish. This is the Frankfurt Crick. 
But one of the, the things on my bucket list that I didn't accomplish was I didn't get to go to a black barber shop. I would like to go to a black barber shop. And uh, I would like to go, although maybe I wouldn't like to go to a black barber shop because I hate when I, when I, when I get my hair cut, I like the person who's cut in my hair. I like them to be no nonsense. I like them to, uh, you know, focus on their job. Cut my hair. That's why I usually go to. Oh boy, is this? Is this? This is just. I usually get my hair cut by Asian people because uh, they don't talk to you. They just they cut the hair. You know. <laughs> I love it. I was going to this one lady. And the name of her uh, barber shop was Sal D's, S-A-L-D. So you picture short little Italian guy, you open the door. I don't know who, she's Asian. It's great. The haircuts, there was, mat, there was posters on the barber shop and they were all separate, separated by races. If you're white, you can get these haircuts. You're black, you can get these haircuts. Um... You know, <laughs> but I never, I never had a convert. You know what we would do? Small talk. Oh, it's cold today, huh? Ooh, cold. She would just repeat what I said. Boy, not not many people in the shop. <laughs> shop empty. Uh, you know, that's how we. That's our co whole conversation. But after the pandemic, since the pandemic, well, during the pandemic, um. I was like, oh, I'm never going to, I'm never going to get my hair cut again. Everybody's right in your face. And, uh, I bought a pair of clippers and, uh, I, I just shaved my head every, every few months. It's really, uh. But anyway, I want to get my hair cut at a black barber shop. So if you have a black barber shop, I don't even know why. Well, I, I'll tell you why. There's there's a series of movies. It's called Barber Shop. Oh my God, all they do is have fun in the barber shop. I used to get my hair cut by this guy named Ray the Barber. Yeah, maybe a little Frank Sinatra playing and. Ah, you see the Phillies? Those were the conversations. You see the Phillies? Yeah. That's, how, that's actually, a, if you know Ray the Barber, <laughs> that's a pretty good Ray the Barber impression. Uh-oh. Hello, friend. There they are. Ruining lives. Uh, I tell you, they towed my car the other day. Hey, you watch the Phillies? I mean, that's, that might be one of the top ten impressions of all time, I write a barber. Uh, all right. Then we'll go, we'll go around here, and then we'll go back. I'm, it's so nice out, I don't even, I don't even want to go to the car. Yeah, you want some Phillies? <laughs> all right, one time, I went to see Ray the Barber. He's still open. Ray the Barber still cuts hair. Ray the Barber was... An old man, when I was in my, um, uh, my tweens, he would cut my hair when I was 12. And, uh, he, yeah, he would cut my hair when he was 12. And he also, listen to this, what Ray Barber would do. He would pierce ears. So about, I guess when I was still, when I started this channel about five years ago, I went to Ray the Barber's barber shop. I actually made a video inside the shop, but it's before I knew what I was doing, so it's not very good. Does anybody give a shit about Ray the Barber? That's where that's what I'm thinking about. So, well, listen, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch, it's fire. And if you want to help me out, there's a link below in every video to my Patreon. You get bonus videos, postcards, and early previews. What was this? Bridge. It had to be a railroad.
Was it a railroad or was it a trolley? Was this one of the trolleys that went to Fairmount Park? Oh, I wonder if this was a part of that trolley line that went to Fairmount Park. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments. Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Doodles!